Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I've got for you some more Tank Request series and today I'm playing in the Tier 9 German Tank Destroyer, the Waffenträger Alf Panzer IV or Alf Panzer IV. And today we're going to be playing this thing out in Tank Request as we usually do. Now before I get massively into the stats, um, well not that I get massively into the stats, but before I get into the stats and then into the gameplay, I need you guys to go vote on what tank you want to play next. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who voted in the last video. It was absolutely amazing. I've uh, got my last video here. And this tank actually won with nine votes. That's the highest we've ever had. As well as that, the Liberté, the um, MXM 449, got six votes. The T-55A got three. Um, yeah, it was just an absolutely amazing... Um, voting thing so thank you to everybody who voted and if you guys can all go and do it again vote on the tank you want to see me play i'll just go through a quick scroll through my tanks now and then um you see a tank you like you write it in the comments and then give the ones down there which you want me to play a thumbs up and i'll play the most voted for tank next time so maybe the panzer 58 mutz or the tiger 2 um object on 40 5041 pattern oh i've still got primary selected TVP, any of these tanks guys, I really, really, really don't mind. Tier 2 up to tier 10, premium, non-premium, any class, any nation, really don't mind. Pick a tank and I will play it out next time. There we go, just go for a quick scroll back as well. And that's the beauty of this series, is I don't get to choose what I want to play, you guys get to choose what I play. So today we are playing in the Waffenträger Alf Panzer IV, or the Alf Panzer IV. Say so, tier 9 tank destroyer, that is German. And this tank, I have i haven't had it very long. Um, I've only literally just got the top gun, the uh, top 128mm, which is the best gun to use on this tank. You can make an argument for the um, top 15, but the top 128 is um, much, much better. Now, this tank is pretty much a glass cannon. It has no armour, especially on the gun mantlet. Um, I don't know how much, how much armour is that. Uh, oh, it doesn't actually say, but I think it's about 3 millimeters of armor or 5 millimeters of armor or something. Oh, excuse me. Um, the mobility of this tank's not too bad, actually. It weighs 28 tons and has a 400 horsepower engine. A specific horsepower per ton of 14.26. And it'll go 38 kilometers per hour forwards and 12 backwards with a traverse speed of 39.25. Now, something that's quite crucial to this tank is the fact, obviously, that it has a turret, so it can shoot 360 degrees, which is really, really nice. You can reverse out of places, shoot, and then use the 38 kilometers an hour to get back into cover rather than using the 12. Um, something else which I should point out about this tank is it has... Um, how much gun depression? It has two degrees of gun depression. Take that with a pinch of salt, because that is over the front. I think... Over the sides and over the rear, it ha either has five or seven. And over the side, over the rear, it has the same gun depression, but not as much elevation. Um, as same as over the front. Whereas over the sides, it has really good depression and elevation. So you want to be going out sideways in this tank if you if you can, just so you can use the full elevation. However, the main thing about this tank is this monstrous 128 millimeter gun. It fires 5.17 rounds per minute, which is really, really nice. Give in mind a DPM of 3,474, which is really, really, really nice. Um, this tank um, gets 276 millimeters of penetration with the standard AP rounds, 352 millimeters of APCR, which is incredible. You don't really need to fire APCR, but they're, they're always there if you need them. As well as um, it having 560 average damage, which I find is a really, really nice alpha to have. Um, it means you can take big chunks off your enemy, but still means you've got a big enough, a good enough rate of fire that if you do miss or it does bounce, that you've got another shell not too long, um, not too long in the future. That doesn't make sense. Well, it makes sense, but it sounds stupid. Anyway, it also couple this with a 0.33 dispersion and 2.1 second aim time. This gun is really, really nice, and I think one of the best guns at tier 9, if you just take it as a, as a gun. It's the same as the Ag Tiger's gun, sort of. Same kind of stats. Um, not as good rate of fire, I don't think. But, you've got this turret, and you've got the 
Oh, excuse me, I can't stop you on him. I've got, uh, you've got the more mobile tank. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the Waffentrager Panzer IV. It's got 400 meters view range, which is not too bad. Actually, it has been buffed up a bit by my situation awareness, so that'll be a bit less than that. Now, as you can see, I haven't got very good crew on this tank, um, because like I said, I haven't had it very long. And I kept my really good crew in the Borsig, because obviously this is a six-man crew, the Borsig is a four-man crew. So it's kind of like, I didn't really want to take, because I'd only have four good crew members. Um, so yeah, um, my suggestion is, like I'm doing now, cam full camouflage, then go um, repairs, but once that gets up a little bit, get uh, retrain and get six cents, blah, blah, blah. Then go camouflage again, do the same again, and then brothers in arms, then do camouflage again. You want to keep the camo rating in this tank as up as much as possible, because this is one of the stealthiest vehicles in the game. You also want to, equipment wise, you want a gun rammer, um, binos and camo net. You can, once you get a better crew, switch the binos out for coated optics, so they're always active. But at the minute, I'm just going for binos as well. When I bought this tank, I didn't have a lot of money. I, wow, I've actually got quite a lot of credits now. Um, I also use chocolate in this tank, just because... Usually in this thing, once you get spotted, you die quite quickly. So if you do get on, set on fire, you're dying just a little bit quicker. But this chocolate helps out, obviously, the whole of the rest of the time. So that's pretty good. So that's enough um, of talking about the tank. Let's go get into some games. So here we go, guys. First game in, and we have got a... Uh, what have I done? There we go. Tabbed out accidentally. An 88% chance to win game on Winterberg. It's a standard battle. We've got a really nice matchup, actually. It's a tier 9 game. We're going to head out towards the uh, G H1, G1 area. Let's see if we can get some shots into the side of some heavies. And see what we can do. So, I actually quite like this tank. Um, like I said, I haven't had it very long. And I've only had the Top Gun. I think I've only played three games with the Top Gun. So, we'll see what we can do. Obviously, this, this map isn't the best for this vehicle, because this vehicle is, um... Oh, I can't stop you this. Sorry, guys. It's very, very based around its gun and its camera rating and not getting spotted when firing. But we'll see what we can do, because it is a very, very nice gun. As you can see, 9.67 rounds per minute on 560 alpha is really not that bad. Well, 3,400 DPM pretty much speaks for itself. Look, as you can see here, not good gun depression, not good, not good. And then it gets to about here, and then it goes down. Stays down all the way around the back until you get back up the other side. Because of this bit at the front of the hull, which um, means that you don't get quite as good de gun depression. As well, look, the elevation, you get really good elevation, and then it goes a long way down. So you just got to be careful of things like that. Oh my god, a T29 with the 76mm. I feel sorry for the gun. Right, so let's spin round. Activate our binos and see what we can see down here. If we can't see anything down here, then we're going to move up to this corner just here. <laughs> First shell of the game, ammo racks a GW Panther. Okay, yep. That's, um... That's, that's going to hurt, that is. Let's teach me anything down there. Oh, no, no, oh, I should not have pushed this far forward. Front of the Yoho? No, not quite. Yeah, we um I should have been a lot more patient in this game and sat back here. So we're gonna slowly reverse back. Because there's a lot of guys to see Yag Tiger there as well. Yeah, we're gonna reverse back here. Our team's winning quite convincingly here. Let's see what we can do. Actually, what's the point of reversing all the way back? It's just like this. Can't believe we one shot that GW Panther. Okay, now nobody wants to come out now, I'll reverse back. Great. I'm kind of, like, stuck... ...in a little bit of no man's land here. Ooh, E75 hits us, unfortunately. Put our commander back in. I've got better right far than him. Don't need to use it. We're going to play this game quite aggressively. Our team's winning 9-1. I'm not going to bother dicking around at the back of the map. We're going to get all up up here, trade shells. Try and use like our IS-5. Oh, I should have fired that. 
<clears throat> okay. Ooh, I just love this. Like when you're rolling consistently for 500, sometimes 600. We're not going to get the kill here, torches. Oh, we just miss out on the kill. This game has been over so quickly. All right, I'm just going to take the hit from this guy. Oh, wow. I don't even get a shot into him. I don't think I'm going to get any more damage done this game, guys. No, unless um, somehow we manage to find artillery. No, he's found. We're not going to get any more damage done this game. Now, that game lasted like two minutes. Two minutes? Three minutes. Just over three minutes. Ignore me, I'm being stupid today. Don't ignore me. But, ignore me. But, you know what I mean. So, yeah, that was a, like, 15-1 game. That's not what this tank likes. Um, I wasn't doing particularly a lot there. I mean, that was quite funny, the one shot on the, um, on the GW Panther. Did we get, we did Amarak him, yeah. We completely just blew his head off. Um, 551 to the Ag Tiger, and that was it, that game. So, we're going to go jump into another game, because that was pretty quick, and... This tank does not like quick games. Oh, okay. Another really good matchup for this tank. Unfortunately, it's Assault. I don't really know where to go on Assault on this map. In weekly armor tanks. Because I don't really want to sit at the back. Because that's boring. Or should I sit at the back? Eh. See, that's how you should... I'm caught in the thing here between how I should play the tank and how I want to play the tank. I should play the tank. I should sit back here. Camonet, binos. Um, set up. And then just shoot things. But I want to play the tank. I want to get all up close and personal. And actually do some damage. At closer ranges where it's not going to be such a boring, boring game to watch. I'm going to start up here and then if the game okay <laughs> I just can't I just this is the first ever 560 alpha damage gun I've had because I mean obviously I know they've been on the, on the Yag Tiger for years um, years and years but I've never had it this is the first 560 alpha damage gun I've had and it is really really nice I do really like just taking Big chunks out of your enemies. That was awful. Nowhere near enough um, lead on that shell. Okay, the enemies are pushing quite aggressively on the other flank, so I might come up to where this T37 is. Let's just destroy that guy. Oh ho. Okay. Oh ho, okay. Okay, T-54 and stuff there. That's pretty good. There's the Ohio. Shoot this guy, get up again. 567. Very nice. We should have the reload to put another shot into him. And this penetration as well is very nice. That You don't really even have to aim. But this accuracy on this tank is really quite good as well. Are we going to get another shot? Yeah, we should do. Finish him off. Beautiful. Right, now let's sort of come up here. Be careful of this 1390. I'm actually doing this wrong. The same crap. Can I help? Help out my friendly here? He spotted me. He looks to have spotted me. Oh, 675. That is a very nice roll. It's going to help out my 1390. No end. Get that guy. No, not quite. Good. That 1390 is down. See, if you reverse up, then I've always got the, um... Oh, crap. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm quite happy out here at the minute. Um, let's see what we can do. We shouldn't be able to get spotted by anything out here. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Go on T34. It's totally safe, I promise. I'm lying. Don't tell him. I just got to play quite safe here because obviously our team is outnumbered now. Um, that's probably why. Best place to put E75, strongest thing. At tier 9, back of map. That's nice. T4. Oh, that was unfortunate. T54 moved across as well. As long as that 1390 can just spot, I should be okay. Name out this way towards the T54. Uh, oh, this game's gone very static very quickly, but we're in a good position here. We should. We've got. Um, our tanks in front of us at all places, so hopefully we shouldn't be the first one getting shot and we should be able to see the enemy before they see us. Should being the optimal word there. Don't know where this C-75 is going. Okay, we could die now if this enemy 1390 comes in. Oh, crap. Pay attention, Max. Pay attention. Pay attention. Shot. First one in. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Second one. Oh no. 1390. Alright, I need to get this E1 out if I can. Beautiful. Can we get a shot to the T54 uh, here? You can guess. We're gonna move. Okay, hang on. I've got to set up my binos here. I've got enough health that hopefully I should be able to take a shell or two. Here comes the 87. Bounced off that guy, really. Okay, that's a clean. That's a cleaner shot. Use the DPM. Beautiful. Nice. That guy's out. It's just this T-54 that I'm worried about now. E-75 is going to die. Come on, keep going forwards, keep going forwards, keep going. Okay, that guy's out. What? Why is the Scorpio... Oh. Oh. Why are you going that way, bro? I need to go in and set this um, MX-1390. Hopefully the Scorpion should be able to take that T-34. I need to try and go. I don't know how much health this 1390's on. Okay, good. Not that much. As long as I don't get caught here with my gun depression. It should be okay. Okay. Surprise! It's me! Beautiful. Very nice, now I'll get back down. T25 2. And go into this guy. Artillery missed. <clears throat> oh, he's not going to play cat and mouse me, is he? Good, Scorpion takes out that guy. Oh, we track him. Bye bye, T25 2. We've got the mobility as well that I sh hopefully can outrun his gun. Need to keep moving. Beautiful. Don't hit me, T-54. Thank you. It's very important that T-54 didn't hit me there because at the minute, um, I don't believe that the GW Panther can one-shot me. If I take a hit from the T-54, then you very, may very well be able to. It's a very, very good game. 
this tank. Oh, I forgot. It's it's assault, isn't it? We need to hurry up. Where's this guy? No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. Right. We either both have to cap or we have to go and find him. The ungreedy thing here would to be to cap, but I don't think the scorpions I don't think the scorpions even gonna get there and get to the cap in time. And I think he might be greedy as well. So we're not gonna cap here. I mean this is probably the stupid play and we're probably gonna throw the game because of it. But I honestly don't believe well this GW Panther is actually team killed. There he is. Spin, 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 spin. Beautiful. Lovely game there. I think that's that's definitely going to be my best game in this tank. Got to be my, my best game. Ace tanker. Just 6,700. Did we put a blind? Did we hit that T-54 blind? We hit that T-54 blind. Oh my god, we actually hit that T-54 blind. 6,770 damage, 6 kills, 1,263 base XP. You can't really complain with that. It still made 30,000 credits, fired 18 shells, 16 hit, 15 penned. 9 minute gain. Absolutely brilliant gain that was. High caliber top gun. Tank sniper. That's the waffle. That is 100% the vo the waffle there. I didn't lose a single hit point as well that whole game. That's that is a I It's another one of those games where it's kind of like Okay, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the tank. Um so there we go guys. That was the waffle waffle and Traeger Alpha Panzerfear. So, like I said before, please make sure you vote on your next tank. I'll go again for another little scroll through just while I'm yapping at the end. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. It really, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, it really does help me out. Um, other than that, please subscribe. Again, I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. I only need one more sub to get to 300. One more. Um, and other than that, please pick your next tank. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.